Welcome back to the stream. Today we are continuing our DLC time trial journey. And uh, we finished Calamari Desert last time, so here we are continuing with Waluigi Pinball, which I anticipate to be a little more difficult, but... Well, we should be able to get through it eventually, like we've done with every course before this. Um, I think this is wave two, wave three, so we at least got a, a cup or two done. This is the last one, I think, in the third cup of the DLC, so we're making uh, progress. Uh, I say that as I crash into a wall. <laughs> uh, slowly but surely, but this is definitely one I need to practice because uh, this one's kind of been giving me some issues. Um, actually, hold on a second. All right, I gotta adjust something. Let's get rid of that. Okay, okay, sorry. Just wanna make sure my stream quality wasn't gonna be affected by something I had in the background, but. Anyway, uh, this lap is going terribly, but uh, we're gonna play it out to uh, get a read on what we're doing here. Um, the pinballs are gonna be a hell of a factor, not to mention these bumpers. That's kinda why I think this one's gonna be a little difficult to, to work. Like, when I play this one online, it seems like I get hit by a lot of the, uh, the random elements of the pinball machine. And, uh, my goodness, we're doing atrocious right now. It seems like, uh, quite the daunting level, but, uh, I think, uh, New York Minute kind of se seemed like that last stream, too. And, uh, we got through that one somehow, so. But the problem is, like, the DLC courses require you to get 10 coins, and the, the ghost also used the, uh, you know, the purple boost. So it's a lot more challenging than the, uh, base game time trials, at least in my opinion. And, uh, from what I've learned, uh... It, it really requires that just getting coins alone can be very hard. You have to like get get most of the coins in the first lap, or you're they're gonna get too much of a lead on you. Rather unfortunate, but you can learn this pinball bouncing. But I'm sure it's like looped at some point. But it's so like it seems kind of sporadic, so it's hard to recognize a pattern in the short time you're there. But um, yeah, even with me choking, this this bot is absolutely slaughtering me. I have no idea where a good boost point would be for this one, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but we're gonna try and figure it out. Uh, we probably should cut the turns there and not even worry about the boost pads. As far as I know, this level has no shortcuts whatsoever. Uh, we're gonna be in for a trip here. Oh, that, that turn's gonna get me. That's probably gonna be my ninja hideaway turn where I have to uh, learn about it and adjust accordingly. Because ninja hideaways turns would always get me, but now when I play it, after doing the time trials, I don't have that issue anymore. I guess I had that issue with the New Bowser City a little bit too. Like, I learned where to break and it became a non issue. Oh my god, that pinball sucks. I if just boosting through here is a good idea. I feel like there's not, there should be like a better place to do it, but we're gonna have to copy the bot and uh, figure it out from there. And probably 15 seconds on me. Yeah, it's gonna be atrocious, but hey, we gotta start somewhere only go up from here. Yikes. That was a full 18 seconds. Yeah, that was... Ugh. Yeah. But I mean, I already kind of had... A, I made a lot of mistakes. Hit the wall like twice. Got hit by a pinball twice. And uh, yeah. So here's hoping we can uh, optimize it a little bit and do better. Uh, we gotta start with this. Wouldn't be a stream of mine if I didn't blow my engine. <laughs> Gonna have that happen at least three more times. I should do what I said I was going to do on Saturday, like, kind of bop my head to the timing of my model. Because that actually kind of helped me get it down a little bit, so if I can manage that, it should be, shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, he just kind of skips his coins, maybe we should do the same. Yeah, I think it's a good purple boosting area. Just do a single boost there, or, yeah, just don't, don't drift in the wall, basically. Okay, this seems a little more doable. He's getting the coins, though, which is rather... Oh, shit. Okay. All right, we're getting a feel for it still, clearly. <laughs> Let's try the head bopping thing. I'm gonna close my eyes. I mean, I think I got a decent boost, but I only opened my eyes toward the tail end of that uh, zero. All right, well, let's give it another run. Got a coin. Oh, that wasn't good, but okay. I get so fussy with like minor mistakes, just ruining a run. I'm just like, I'm out. <laughs> Let's run it back. Oh, 
that I can get the timing down, but I need to do it like in a, a consistent rhythm. I was just kind of going like side to side that time. Let's try again. Yeah, I mean, decent. I mean, it, it helps that I'm putting a conscious effort to uh, get the timing down. Because if I try and do it while like talking about something else, it's just, I'm just going to get too distracted and it's going to fail miserably. That's why I fail like three times in a row on some occasions. Sometimes five times. I think it's the most I've failed in a row, but I could be completely off base on that. Oh my god, that is a really tight turn. I gotta boost like sooner, even if I take a single boost. Oh jeez. And yeah, the pinball dropping right here does not make it easier either. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, he goes this way. Interesting. Oh, he boosts right here. Okay, that's good to know. Good information. Oh yeah, just avoiding... Why do I go through the center? That, that makes so much more sense to just avoid all the pinball crap and just ride the side there, but... Okay, that's... Yeah, that, that's probably why I don't do so well on Waluigi Pinball, but uh, now we know. Honestly, getting coins is going to be the hardest part of this, I think. Like, there's a good streak of them uh, right before you get to the uh, pinball table, but it's going to be hard to get it. Like, it's going to be like a New York Minute where I had to get a good line going on a drift to get four coins. It's going to be like that, but it's like, look at this. It's like five in a row here. That's a lot. And to get all of them in a single drift is going to take a lot of precision. So my runs are going to depend on how well I collect those coins. Fortunately, the, the layout's the same every lap, but it's still going to take a bit of uh, work to get that down. Oh, there's also coins here in the uh, return path. That's good. I think I should... Okay. I, I take it back. There's actually an abundance of coins, but the sooner the, is definitely better because Waluigi got three seconds on us that lap and we didn't even crash or anything. Okay. It's going to be one of those. I'm. And we're going to spend some time here. That's fine, though. I feel like we're going to get a much better time this time, so... I mean, it's not going to be much better, but, you know, it's an improvement from 18 seconds ahead, so... Oh, we're looking for just small improvements. That that turn sucks. I really gotta like boost before that. Jeez. Gotta watch that. Hey. Come on. There we go. Pinball does kind of bounce over here, so I gotta be careful. I think it's the only pinball that comes over here, though. Okay, we gotta get the coins sooner, but I think I have a pretty good idea where the coins are now. All right, that's a lot better. Uh, I think we were up like eight seconds, about eight seconds. So they still have like ten seconds on us, which is really not good when you think about it. Yeah, full ten seconds. Okay. Okay, we are in it for the long haul. Good joy. <laughs> Yeah, I got a good boost. Music here's pretty good, though. Yeah, I, got, I didn't even get a coin. Wow. That's surprising. That was a really tight turn. Okay, you just gotta cut it really tight there, and you don't have to worry about the, the edge. We're picking up some tricks here. That's good. Try and get some of these coins if I can. Missed all of them. Love to see it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect to get those coins. Those are very hard to get. Okay, there we go. Now just right the outside, and we should be golden. Just open, right? Is he boost around this area? Let's get some of these. Get some of these. Okay, we are looking pretty solid here. We're at eight. Eight after lap one. Okay, we're much a lot more a lot more improvement here. Honestly, I'd be surprised if I get this within like 20 minutes because I figured this was gonna be a longer one, like uh, New York Minute and oop, Coconut Mall. But ah, uh, the freaking pinball scared me away. Damn! And he got under that with perfect precision. I mean, the staff goes to have a little bit more practice, I'm sure, but it is a little disheartening, I'll admit. But yeah, it gives me a bit of a hurdle to overcome, so just trying to get better. That's all we're doing. We got ahead of him in pretty much no time flat there. So go ahead and boost here. Oh, wait, did he take another path? 
I actually don't know his other pathing because, uh, oh, he went the other way this time. That's what he did. Okay. Because, yeah, I didn't, I, by this point, I lost him, I'm pretty sure, in the uh, pathing. Okay. We're slightly behind. We might be able to have this if we pull off everything right. We didn't get the trick boost there, unfortunately, but you might be able to pull it off with perfect drift boost and uh, cutting corners. Oh, definitely not doing that. And I missed the trick boost. Oh, boy. I mean, we're going to get some minuscule improvement, but I'm definitely messing up a lot here. And it's not that I'm messing up, but I haven't quite gotten down the uh, the fine-tuned mechanics to uh, perform better here. Uh, he's got a bit of a lead on me. Yeah, I think I might have just choked on this last, like, sprint here. But... Okay, there we go. Does he go down the center on this lap? He's still going to beat me by probably a second or so. There's no way I get this. Yeah, damn. That was a pretty good attempt, though. Probably beat me by, like, a second or so. Not bad, not bad. And we have room for improvement. We might have this in a couple more attempts if uh, we have a, our attempts that good. Not quite yet. Not ready. I really need to get these uh, time trials done, though, because uh, by the time Wave 6 is done, I want to have all the remaining uh, DLC time trials out of the way. I didn't do that one. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna nix that real quick. <laughs> but I mean, I'm doing it like once a week. I try and knock out like 4 to 8, so I think we should be good. That was too early. I, I knew it was too early, but I still held it. I stood my ground, even though I shouldn't have. There we go. All right. Got our nice little boost. Good start. I was in a good drift. We are playing a dangerous game with this pinball. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I was drifting way too fast and loose with that thing and uh, did not work out well in my favor. What happens when you have a couple tons worth of metal rolling around? At the best start boost there, too. And somehow Waluigi popped ahead of me. Maybe he has better top speed? That might be it. I really shouldn't try and hold that to a purple. There's no point in holding it to a purple there. Okay, we can get ahead of the pinball. That's what we need to do. Okay, we, we actually got a pretty good amount of time there. Okay, looking pretty solid here. Got four coins there. Not a bad get. Let's keep it up. Yeah, holding this like an inward like that, it gives me a good boost and I have a quite a bit more leeway to work with if I do that. Because I have a solid lead on him now. Oh god, I, I messed up. And there, there's my lead. <laughs> it's gone. I mean, not by much, but I definitely choked a lot. I should have just stuck to the left side. Which, you know, I would have had a probably at least a full second on him had I done that. For some reason, all the neon just kind of like... I got lost in it for a bit, and uh, yeah. This level has a lot going on visually, so... Definitely easy to get lost in it if you're not paying too much attention to... Or if you don't know the map... Uh, as well as I, uh, I don't, because, like I said, I've never played the 3DS or DS uh, Mario Kart, so I don't have the nostalgic attachment or memorization of those tracks, so. All right, do this again, do another inward drift. And we're still doing pretty well, even though I messed up last lap. It might cost me in this last lap here, but... What? The coins, okay, we're good. He's still popping ahead of me, though. Yeah, this might, it might be another close one, but I definitely feel like we can do this one in the next couple of times, hopefully. So. Gonna try and knock out another cup today. That's my that's my goal. So, Because doing time trials is definitely one of those things that's better for me to do whenever I'm a bit more rested. And I slept pretty well last night, so. I want to knock out a couple, but if it goes pretty fast, I'll try and do a couple extra tracks, so. Okay, we got a lead. As long as I don't mess up in this last lap, we might have it. Okay. Good driss, good driss. And we're off. Oh, no! Damn it! We, we would have had that. Yeah, the pinballs are a real troubling factor. 
That's like the only one that bounces over there too, so the odds of me getting hit by that are surprisingly low, and uh, I managed to uh, beat those odds. Go figure. <laughs> ah, man. That's a, I mean, I, I do kind of like this track a little bit more now that I practice it, because like the inward drifting does reward you if you uh, know how to do it properly. Like drifting between this pinball is a pretty good feeling if I can pull it off. I didn't get my purple boost there, but I'm still kind of drifting inward and avoiding the uh, the ball of death there. So I'm just gonna avoid most of these coins. Probably a better idea to avoid those and get the uh, distance advantage because I can get most of those coins at the end there of this. Uh, left path. I'm still pretty low, unfortunately, but watch out for the uh, rolling ball of death that's trying to get me. Try and get some of these to compensate. Nope, I didn't get them. That's fine. We got about a second. Uh, almost a second. Okay. Better than the last lap. Hey. Okay. Uh, did I do it? I don't, it's hard to tell if I do a trick sometimes. Uh, that's that wasn't a good drift. I had a bit of coconut mall syndrome there where I went too outward, and that's dude. It cost me a lot of time. Like look how quickly he caught up to me from that. It's insane. I mean, I could probably get it back, but it's having that advantage early is definitely better to hold it. But I gave some ground, and now he's gonna have some room to catch up here. Yeah, I like that. Damn, that sucks. Honestly, it might be worth just sacking this attempt. I can probably get some of it back, but I'm probably not gonna get all of it back, honestly. Let's try and go for a purple. Because he usually stops at yellow. Yeah, let's go for that. Damn, that was okay. Uh, I I can, yeah, I think I'll restart. Yeah, he had too much of an advantage on me at that point. I could I could have probably I might have had a chance, but I think I probably would have been trailing too much. Alright, getting better at the start boost, that's good. And try and do my best to uh get more coins on lap one to hopefully Get a speed advantage on him and get some more distance, but. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I'm really threading the needle here. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I really had to break there to um, to save myself from going too far into the, uh, the pinball, but missed all the coins again. Love to see it. Yeah, honestly, though, the drifting, I do, the drifting feels a lot better whenever you know what you're doing here. Like, I, I used to absolutely hate this course, but, you know, avoiding the pinball, like, this side definitely seems a lot safer for avoiding the oop, pinball stuff, but. Like a normal, or I was going to try and start the drift there, but I feel like it's better to probably not do that, so. There we go. Now we lost time. We're still ahead, but it's not too far up. Hey, Miley, how are you doing? I just started on uh, Waluigi Pinball, but I'm getting a pretty good feel for it, so. I don't really have nostalgic attachment to this level, uh, so I'm, I'm trying my best to uh, pick it up, but it feels like it rewards you for doing like a lot of inward drifts and getting the coins early. Like I thought this one was going to be a lot more daunting and terrible, but it's not too bad so far. Okay. Right here used to be an annoying turn for me, but that's like super satisfying to get that uh, purple boost off there. The pinball... Oh god, the pinball's here. Okay. That pinball's scary. Like a run ender right there. Hey. Okay. Got a little bit of time on him, but it's not much. I do some really good drifts. That's usually how I do the tracks. Like usually like I try and like analyze the track as I'm doing it just to kind of optimize it the best I can. Like, mind you, I'm not the best Mario Kart player in the world, so I kinda have to logic I have to rationalize it in my head to where I can break it down and you know basically state what I need to do. Like, I'm just, like, doing personal notes in my head, and I'm just voicing those notes to, I guess, make it a little more, um, well, I wouldn't say interesting, but to understand what I'm doing, basically. That's kind of how most of my time trial streams have gone so far. Like, sometimes I get help from, uh, people- Ah, that pinball! Damn! Okay. But, um, that's, that's usually how I, um, how I do the time trials, just, um, just break it down and, you know, just try and execute it the best of my ability. Because sometimes the execution is the hardest part. That was a good start. Because, like, having having a game plan definitely helps just instead of just, like, racing it um, normally every time. But it's it's not that bad because, like, watching the ghost is, like, the best teacher for learning how to do these tracks. Because, like, I've learned so much just from watching the ghost. 
Like, I've had uh, people tell me some, you know, give me some hints and stuff, but um, the ghosts are, honestly, you can get pretty good at this game just watching how the ghosts race and just executing it that way, so. But the random factors on this level are pretty wild with all the pinballs. Okay, avoided that. Good, good. No, thank you. Means a lot. Still kind of new this whole streaming thing and just kind of playing it by ear, so. Honestly, sometimes I'm like, I don't know if this is really what people want to watch, but, you know, I'm just kind of playing a game as I normally would. The only difference is I'm, like, voicing my thoughts a little bit more. Like, I'd just be playing normally, just, you know, thinking about all these things without voicing them, but... Okay. But for some reason, the uh, the time trial streams are people... Uh, are Like, it's something that people like to watch, which I don't really know if uh, other people actually play the time trials in this game, but... But it's been a lot of fun, and I've never really done the time trials in Mario Kart up until, the, like, this game, so... I honestly only started doing the time trials because I, I got beat up so, so bad on the Mario Kart Deluxe Online, I was like, I gotta get better. And this seemed like a pretty good way, because, like, playing the GPs, like, the AI is so easy, you just steamroll them. Even if you're, like, half decent at Mario Kart like I was. So, I'm just trying to actually get better to where I don't do that, for one. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Um, I got the uh, golden tires. I haven't uh, gotten the other gold parts, but I do want to get the golden paraglider. But I know you need like 5,000 coins or something. Oh boy, here we go. So I got to focus on this part real quick. Every time I try and like just autopilot this part, I just never get the boost start. Let's go. There we go. Okay. But yeah, my ultimate goal is to um, eventually unlock all the uh, golden parts in this game. Even though I'd only probably only use the... Um, the paraglider, just because I this build has been working, been working pretty well for me. Um, I used to play as Metal Mario, but I got talked out of that because uh, he's not a very good character apparently. So, but Yoshi and the Varmint have been pretty good to me, and I've uh, been doing a lot better since I switched that. I just I had a heavy character because in Mario Kart Wii used to be the meta was playing as the heavy characters, but I guess it shifted at some point in this game. Okay, we got that. Good, good. Stay away from me, pinball. So on lap three, I think, is whenever the pinball sli strikes on this side. So I probably should avoid this side on lap three. Maybe I should take it on lap two so I get a acquainted with that area. Might be a good idea. There we got that. Ten coins. Got a pretty good lead. It's looking pretty good. I mean, if you are if you manage to do all the objectives with that, then I'd say that's pretty impressive. Because, like, sometimes, uh, like, I, I did the uh, time trials in um, Sonic Racing Transform not too long ago. And trying to do, like, everything with the basic Sonic build was so hard. Like, I had to switch to, like, uh, some other characters for certain time trials. So, if you manage to pull it off with the base build, that's uh, that's impressive in its own right, honestly. Only reason I'm playing is uh, with this build, though, is because I really like the bikes more than any other vehicle in this game. Like, ever since they added them in Mario Kart Wii, it's been my go-to vehicle. So, I had uh, one of my... Uh, Followers basically suggest this to me. Uh, the Varmint and the Yoshi. Or he said a medium character, I just picked Yoshi, but apparently Yoshi's pretty good, so. Okay, we got that. Good, good. I don't even know if there's gonna be a reward for doing all these time trials, but at the end of the day, I'm just doing to get better, so. Hopefully it'll help me out to where I can know these tracks like the back of my hand. There we go. Pinball's probably about to drop. Be careful of that. Yeah, the drifting here is super satisfying. And now I don't even have to worry about hitting that edge like I was at the start. Seeing some visual, vi uh, wow, well, I can't even talk right now. I'm seeing some visual improvement here, and that's that's what we're really going for. So, get our purple here. This one's looking pretty good. If I don't get smacked by a pinball again, we'll take the right side this time because I cannot afford to get smacked by that again. Okay, the pinball should be on that side, so we should be should be in the clear. Oh no, <sighs> hell! I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't know where Waluigi is, but I'm afraid to look. Oh, he's right there. Oh, we barely won him. Okay, we got it. Ugh. <laughs> I, whenever I finish a track, I have such a... I, I breathe so... Uh, I finally let you actually breathe. Because, <laughs> like, the, the stress... Or, like, the stress, but the tension is just, like, so up there that I'm just, like, feel so much relief when I finally do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I said... Uh, I think I read your name wrong. Uh, I, I thought I said... Uh, um, my uh my lee but it's miles my bad i was i kind of glanced over and i was trying to do the uh, time trial so i apologize for that uh, race against a ghost uh, what do we got so we have i think 
Uh, we have, wow, we still have a full... Yeah, we got a lot of cups to go. I'm trying to get this all done before wave six drops, but we might we might be here for a minute. I'm gonna try and get at least one full cup done tonight, but... Just making progress, uh, slowly but surely. Dude, same. I used to love playing as Diddy Kong and uh, Bowser Jr. and da Double Dash. And if they had Diddy Kong as a medium weight, he'd probably be the character I'd play as, honestly. Because, like, I mean, Yoshi's fine, but I don't really have a strong preference toward Yoshi, so... I just really need a medium weight character, but... There's not a, really a lot of medium weight characters that are, like, super appealing to me. Can you boost it? Oh, that's a curb. Ah, the freaking tour traps. Uh, the tour tracks love to have curbs you can't boost over. It really gets to me. Alright, we're just gonna see what the bot does here for a minute. And, uh, go from there. They boosted there. Interesting. Why would they boost there? Maybe they're boosting because there's no other place. I guess there's really not any shortcuts on this level, but... I mean, there's, yeah, there's nothing on lap one, and they tend to use one per lap, so... Guess we'll see what else they got. I didn't even check there. Not a great start, but it's fine. Trying to keep up so I can see where they boost. I mean, you can boost to this grass here, but... Not doing it. Oh boy, it was not good. So the, Usually the first lap, I try to uh, analyze the course to see if I can find any, any potential strategies, but... So far, I'm not really seeing much of anything. At the very least, it acts as a good refresher to uh, reacquaint myself before I start trying to break it apart and optimize it. A lot of boost in the middle. Okay, he might have used the thing here, because boosting here... No, he didn't He didn't even do that! Wow, okay. Guess I'll do it then. It seemed like such an obvious place to boost, but I guess I didn't do it. Good to know. Oh, boost there either. Or maybe boost... No, he didn't. Wow, he's just following the path here. Why do you see boost on this one, man? That too is a bit of a mystery for me, but honestly, my boost spot isn't too terrible if uh, worse comes to worse. Uh, where did he go? I guess he's a, he's a little bit ahead. He's got about three seconds on me, but that's fine. It's just our practice lap, so. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the DK characters, because, like, uh, Mario Kart Wii had a. Uh, uh, Donkey, Diddy, and Funky. Funky was a wild card, but... And then, uh, you know, this game came out, and they replaced all the Kongs with the Koopalings no one asked for, but... I don't know why they went so hard on the Koopalings uh, being in this game, but... They definitely uh, caused some characters to be cut, so... I used to like playing as Metal Mario for that reason, just because Metal Mario wasn't, like, a... He was a heavy character, but he also wasn't one that was super, like... He wasn't, like, a favorite choice that everyone picked. I try and be a little bit different, but... Alright, let's try that again. I know Funky Kong was like the uh, meta the meta character for Mario Kart Wii, and everybody on Mario Kart Wii Online played as Funky Kong. To the point where I was getting sick of it. <laughs> okay, let's see how we do here. I didn't get the yellow. I didn't get the trick either. Love to see it. I don't think this one's going to be as bad as New York Minute, but... It's hard to gauge how hard the, the uh, tour tracks are going to be, because it's usually, like, either super easy or super hard. There's really no in-between for tour levels, unfortunately. No, I hit that. I'm trying to grab as many coins as I can. Coins don't seem to be too scarce, so that's that's pretty good. If I didn't get 8 or 10 by the first lap, we should be in a good position, but... Uh, there we go. Eh, we had 6, okay. We might need to work on that pathing a little bit. I swear, I need to stop trying to sing on stream because, like, every time I try and, like, sync the music up, it never sings on stream, and I know it. <laughs> Although it's just so catchy, I just can't help myself. Okay. I'm really surprised they don't boost that park, but that's fine. We have our spot. They'll have no idea where the, the ghost is boosting on this lap. They might have already boosted, and that's why they're so far ahead of me. Uh, we're at 10. Okay, we're good there. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Nice chatting with you. There we go. Oop. There we go. I didn't do so well there. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna have to optimize this a little bit more. This one's a hard one to optimize, though, just because it's a tour level and it switches every lap. Oh, boy. Wish I could find some good shortcuts here, but... Really hard to uh, break it apart, like I've done... Like I just did for Waluigi uh, Pinball. Maybe. It's a pretty good drift spot there, but... Okay. I still had two mushrooms. Oh, wow. I thought I used all my mushrooms, but I guess I didn't. Alright. Let's give it another go. I didn't even my last time there. Unfortunate. Let's see if we can do a little bit better here, but... Again, no promises. There we go. If I can get a double boost here if we can. And we can! Got that boost. Cool. Alright, we're getting a pretty good boost. Not too shabby. Ah, that was too that was too inward. Too inward. Damn. That was too much. That might be that might be one of those turns that's better for a car to take. So as a bike user, it might be a little harder for me to uh follow what the ghost is doing. Oh yeah, I forgot he used the mushroom there. This lap's about to be over, so we need to, uh... We got six coins again. And it might be hard to get the uh, coins on the first lap like that. If I use my mushroom in a good spot, I might be able to catch him here. Okay, do a nice little drift. Let's try and experiment a little bit. Oh, no. This was a bad experiment. Yeah, I was... Nope, I didn't want that. I was trying to restart, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. A little brutal, but it's fine. I mean, if worst case, I'll just go to another level if this one proves to be a little too difficult. Now we're at the 220. So we're four seconds behind. That's honestly not too bad of a gap, but we're going to have to definitely cut corners efficiently and find some better places to boost because I think the AI is just burning them in sprints or something. They're not really doing anything too tactical with it, so. Okay, let's do our nice little drift inward. that. That was probably the best start we could have, honestly. Getting a double boost, uh, a stair boost, and a single boost all in one go. Oh no, we can do it. Okay, just maybe don't cut so inward and we're golden. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, try and do the coin grab. Yep. Yeah, this is where they do it, generally. I lost a lot of distance with that turn, though, unfortunately. Didn't get that one. Man, I keep ending on six. Not ideal. I and mean, honestly, though, we're pretty neck and neck with them, so. Ah, oh, we hit the edge a little bit. Ah, damn. Uh, yeah, honestly, it might not be worth trying to cut through this park here. There's a lot of obstacles in the way. There is, wow, I didn't even realize how much, like, back and forth drifting you have to do here. Oh, he boosted that one. Okay, that's that makes sense. Maybe that's a good idea because, like, trying to cut through all those obstacles in that other one is uh, not going to happen at all. Yeah, there's a lot of real estate there to worry about. I already used up my other mushroom. I mean, I guess I could cut through that one like I've been doing, but it seems like such a small amount of surface area to cut. Oh, boy. A lot to worry about here. Yeah, this one seems like it's going to be a harder drifting challenge than the uh, Waluigi Pinball was. Like, Waluigi Pinball's drifts were definitely a lot more, uh, well, I feel like they were more consistent, and you could you could definitely break them down and, you know, they're the same turn every drift, but this one you kind of have to optimize it differently, because um, you can't even boost in the same place you could on the last le uh, level, so. Definitely a lot more to uh, the factor, so. See how well we can uh, process it and make it happen, but. Oh boy, that was terrible. Definitely not happening in this race, that's for sure. Okay, I choked a little bit. And if I say my mushroom, I might have actually had it. No. Well, not with that performance. I mean, we're if I if we take away the uh, mistakes here, I'd probably be at about 217-ish, so I've got another second to cut. Which shouldn't be too terrible to do. 
We don't want those failure ghosts. We only want the winning ghost. <laughs> but yeah, this one's seeming a lot more doable now, so. I just don't know why the uh, scaling's so wild with the uh, the spectators on the side. Because usually, like, you see my Yoshi, and you see the blue Yoshi on the side. That one could, like, almost double the size. Maybe, like, 1.5 the size. Minimum, but... Makes it seem like we're, like, on a toy course or something. Kind of wild. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, progress here and hopefully get something done. Yeah, the boost spots and uh, executing perfect drifts is going to be key, but unfortunately I have less opportunities to practice them, so... Yeah, I need to, I need a double boost and then I, so I can trick off the stairs and do a single boost. That's like a very specific combination of things I have to pull off to uh, get a lead there, which is very annoying to have to pull off, but it is at the beginning, so I can kind of practice it a little bit. One. Come on. Me too. I got the... Okay, I got the trick boost. That's fine. I got that. Okay. That's decent enough. Oh, I didn't get the coin. Ah, damn it. That's, that's very annoying. Not gonna lie. There we go. That's pretty good. Got some good boost there. Uh, usually gets that coin, but it's fine. Boost here, because the straightaway is the only good spot to boost on this lap. I don't want to let him get too far ahead of me, but... There we go. We're pretty neck and neck. Yeah, about a tenth of a second, so that's not too terrible. And... Ah, this part is so windy. I hate it. I get it. Like, there's, there's windy, like, uh, Waluigi Pinball, but this one just, like, it's like a freaking snake you're driving on. Oh, my God. Yeah, I boost through here, which honestly might not be the worst play. Yeah, it seems pretty good. We'll do that from now on. Definitely still missing like a coin, but make it up from the. Oh, okay, just kidding. I was gonna say we can get the bystander coin that they just dropped, but apparently that wasn't an option. Kind of wondering now if it's better to use two two turbos on this lap instead of saving one for lap three, because there's just not a whole lot of opportune areas to uh, boost through on lap three. So it might be like um, Calamari Desert is better to burn them on, on lap two. It's a hard call to make, but it might be one I'm gonna decide upon if I get a good run, but so far lap two seems to be destroying me right now, so guess we'll have to keep practicing, get a little bit better. All the trick boost. I think it wants to be Excite Bike 2.0 or something. That's a bad thing, but... Hey, okay. yeah, we're still gonna be like two seconds behind at least. Damn, didn't get the trick boost, so even probably even further. Hey. Yeah, that, honestly, drifting or boosting off that kind of creates the uh, coconut mall problem where you go way too far past and, uh, you know, you just get thrown off to the, the shoulder of the map, which is not really good. It might be one of those situations where it's better not to trick off and just start a drift because that way you can cut more space and, you know, boost the correct direction. Yeah, just decisions are going to make, though, so we're going to have to keep playing around with it. See what works. And get the double here. I got a single, I think, but that's fine. Oh, boy. I think we managed to recover well enough there. I cut a little bit of space here. Okay, so you can do an inward drift, just don't cut it too close to the uh, edge of there, and it should be fine. I didn't get that coin. Ah, that sucks. Man, this one's like, you really have to break this one down. It's kind of insane how much optimization I'm having to do here. Alright, we definitely lost some time compared to last run, but... I wonder if it's because he's getting more coins than me. That's a very real possibility here. Because usually the AI gets, goes for 10 coins on the uh, DLC levels, so... It's by this point he might already have that uh, threshold, or that goal met. Drift again. That's pretty good. I think we're going to try and boost through the uh, the grass over here before the uh, jump. That's not the, really the only other place I can think to do a boost. Otherwise, I'm just kind of boosting to keep up, which doesn't seem like it's too advantageous. So. Gotta get 
ready. Honestly, that wasn't very advantageous either. I mean, that was such a minimal amount of time cut that I might not be worth it. Okay, we got a break there. Not bad. We're still a little bit behind, and he probably still has a mushroom, so... Might be another loss, but uh, we're definitely... We're learning. And we should be making progress in the next couple of attempts, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be too much, too much longer. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Maybe if I... Hold on, maybe I can salvage this. Well, he's gonna have a purple boost, unfortunately, but... Can definitely catch up a little. Oh, he's the boost right there. Yeah, it might be over. Unless I drift super amazingly here. Oh, I tried not to trick so I could. Uh, yeah, if I had a mushroom here, we'd be we'd be good. Yeah, we need to save that mushroom for the last sprint there. Okay. Well, we we did better, but we're very close. Yeah, we're we're like a four tenths of a second. That's not even that much. Okay. I think, we, I think we can do this. I gotta have a pretty good run and just save that mushroom. Because if I don't have one for lap three, then he's I think he's gonna get, gain too much ground. I'm gonna try and boost in a different spot than he does, though. Because if I save it for that last dash, I can cut through this fountain area, which might make a huge difference if I pull it off correctly. So I didn't, I didn't check there. I'm getting real fussy with that. Like, if I see a run, if, I, if I'm at the beginning and I mess something up, I'm just like, nope, run's done. <laughs> Because, I mean, that kind of stuff can cost me, like, a, a fraction of a second. That makes all the difference in these time trials uh, when you're going up against the ghost and whatnot. And, then, like, I've seen the world record ghosts, and they go they go way crazier with their mechanics, so... I'd say, I'd say what I'm doing is very minimalistic compared to that. Because <laughs> they'll do, like, drift boost the entire course and have, like, a full 20 seconds over my best time, which is under the staff ghost, mind you. Ah, hell. I honestly, I haven't had too many uh, engine blowouts today, so... We're doing a lot better on that front, at least. Trying the head bopping thing again, just to uh, get back the timing. Okay, we're good here. Oh, I hit the thing a little bit, but it's fine, hopefully. Oh, that was uh, absolutely not. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should do a single boost, because I think trying to get the double boost is going to cause me to crash more often than it's going to cause me to succeed, so... We'll just go on that assumption for now, and adjust us accordingly. Ah, damn. I need to not hit that, though. Man, I was... I, I keep getting too greedy with the loose. I really need to cut that back. I'm just trying to get a little bit of advantage on uh, the ghost here, but... It's... Oh, wait, that Yoshi changed color. Oh, wow. Didn't realize that was a thing. That's so distracting, because that Yoshi was originally blue, and it turned red. Kudos, Nintendo, for actually having some kind of RNG on your... Oh, no, he's light blue. All right. I guess he was just light blue, or he was dark blue in all his other attempts. Or maybe he changed I just didn't notice until now, which is entirely possible. I'm focusing more on the uh, timing stuff, so... Yeah, it works a lot better. I don't, I don't know why I was trying to go for a double boost there. Getting a little too greedy. Add it a little bit more inward. There you go. Yeah, got a decent lead. Got a decent stockpile of coins, and if we can get the set at the end, we should be pretty good. Oh, man, I'm missing. That's two. And we're lucky number six. Keep having six coins at the end of first lap. I re ideally, I'd like to get seven or eight, but it's kind of hard to uh, hit all those properly every lap. And I'm not gonna try and optimize it to that like extent. I get a lot of coins, cool, but I'm not gonna micro micro like scrutinize myself to that extent because it'd be way too way too hard to get that in a good run. Okay, we're looking pretty good regardless. At nine, we're catching up to. Didn't get that coin, but that's fine. We're at nine, so we. Yeah, we're at ten. We're good. Probably drift a little bit to uh, make up some ground. Looking pretty good. Nope! Oh, hell. I tried to start a drift, but I hit the brake to prevent myself from going out there, but it still caused me to lose some time there, regardless. It's a very minuscule amount of time, but definitely could have made a difference if we uh, held on to it. 
Yeah, let's see if we can make up some ground here. Fortunately, we're going to be doing a lot of the same tricks here, so it's probably going to be the same. Let's drift a little more inward. Yeah, we got a little bit more boost than he did. He uses Mushroom, so if we can pull off a, a win here, it might be huge. We get it? Hey, we got it! Yeah! I'm curious to see how much time we beat him by, honestly. Wow, that was really close. I'll take it, though. All right. I'm honestly surprised the AI doesn't, like, cut through that um that grass patch at the end there. It seems like such an obvious spot, but... there are, I think there are a couple obvious instances where they don't take the... the uh, the, the shortcuts that make the most difference, like on um, this level right here, they don't take the one that goes over the um, the ravine there or the the cliff, which doesn't make any sense because that's like easily the um, the best one in the game. But that's what they decided. So anyway, uh, this is a GBA level, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, hopefully, those aren't my famous last words, but uh, we'll find out. <laughs> this is also a nice level. But I have a rough idea where I'm going to be using the mushrooms, so we're just going to kind of lay back and see what uh, Tanuki Mario here does. And hopefully we can uh, get a game plan going. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Pretty standard stuff, getting the coins. Gotta watch out for the penguins. A little bit of RNG, but... God, wow, I can't believe I avoided that. Interesting. Missed all the coins, but still just trying to... Hang back and see what he does. I'm sure he's going to turbo through there. No, he doesn't turbo through it. Interesting. Maybe he's getting coins. That might be it. Oh, he takes that one. Interesting. Okay. Try and get some more coins if I can, but... Honestly, these icy roads are not making it too easy. I guess I could just get them here. He got a pretty solid lead on me, though. Gonna have to watch the mini-map to see uh, where exactly he... Or which shortcut he takes next. He's either going to cut through the uh, the U-shape there, or he's going to take the same one he did last lap. Uh, let's see. Okay, he goes through this time. Yeah, right here. That's where I thought he was going to take the first lap, but he did not for some reason. So yeah, I took that one. And he's still got a, quite a lead. I'm still not at 10 coins, by the way. Oh, man. We can get our last coin here, just uh, for the sake of getting it. Yeah, we have a lot of ground to make on this one. I wonder if he's going to take the same one or if he's going to pick a different one. He takes the same one. Why does he take that uh, ramp on lap one? That's so bizarre. Maybe it, I, I've noticed sometimes the AI take, will, won't take a shortcut all at the same three laps because uh, they want to showcase other shortcuts and other paths, but this one, it doesn't make too much sense. Like, I think if I take the U-shape one, it should be a lot better, and I'll probably get some ground on him just for taking that one extra time. But I definitely need to um, get more coins because that caused me to uh, not keep up. But this should be a pretty simple one, so hopefully we don't spend too much time here. Oh, wow, been going for almost an hour. Didn't even realize. Okay, well, let's give it a go. That coin. Man, those coins are kind of rough to get, honestly. He's getting so much more ground on me. Because he's not using the mushroom at this point in time, but that's a pretty nice drift if I can pull that off, though. Oh, hell. That's not good. Not good. Well, we can turbo through here. We don't have to worry about that. Well, he might be going that way for the coins. Yeah, I think it's probably the coins. That's the only reason that I can rationalize in my head as to why he's taking that path. Okay, not too bad. Oh, he still has a huge lead on me. Honestly, it's kind of getting to the point where I'm wondering how I'm gonna, you know, cut, cut enough time to catch up to him, because from the get-go, he has such a huge lead on me. And then by the time we get to this point, he just he's able to take the same shortcuts as me, so... This could be a harder one on the uh, DLC, honestly. 
Kind of like how I thought Waluigi Stadium was going to be an issue, and that turned out to be a terrible one. Or Waluigi Coliseum. No, it was, it was a Waluigi Stadium Wario Coliseum. That's what it was. Okay. But yeah, this might be a difficult one regardless. Unless we have another place we can... I don't think we can cut across that... Yeah, we can't cut across that snow path there, so that's out. And we need to go a little more inward here so we can do a better drift and not go in the snow. Yeah, like right here. Just kind of zigzag a little bit over. And there we go. Not too bad. Well, a minor improvement. Not by much. Only a second after all that. Okay. Yeah, this one might take a couple more attempts than I was initially thinking, but... I, it, I mean, I might come down to just, you know, taking it slow, getting coins or something. Because there have been a couple of the DLC tracks that have really come down to me getting 10 coins as soon as possible. Otherwise, the ghost just smoked me. Like, New York Minute and uh, the super, uh, the racetrack number three from the SNES uh, Mario Kart were the two that got me like that, so... Didn't get that one. Oh, you'd hate to see it. I think I might have to follow his pathing to get the coins, because... I can take that U shortcut, but I miss out on so many coins, and that's not good for me right now. He goes outward to take those coins. That's six. Wasn't a good drift. Oh boy. I'm at eight. Damn, I was hoping to be at ten by now, but. Not ideal. I missed a coin in the beginning, so that didn't help either. Oh boy. I'm gonna stay inward this time. Uh, we only need one, so we don't have to go outward to get those two coins. And we're keeping up a little bit better, but he still has such a huge lead on us. It's, I'm really just at a loss. Oh wait, I didn't even use my mushroom last lap, so... I guess I have a little bit more leeway than I thought I did. And do this now. Hang up. Honestly, I probably should have done that last lap because I would have had the extra coin sooner. But ah, man, we're we're definitely. Uh, I mean, we might we might do a little bit better, but we're definitely not gonna get at this race, unfortunately. Ah, hell, definitely definitely not get it. <laughs> oh man, that's rough. A little brutal, but hey. It's usually like the super simple looking tracks that are deceptive. Like apparently SNES Rainbow Row is one of the harder ones in the base game, but I mean I still eventually got it, but it was definitely uh, a little deceptive. Looks very simple, but it's uh has a lot of uh, surprising tricks to it to um to beat the Safcos. Beat it a little bit, but not by much. Oh boy. Yeah, I really need, it really comes down to me getting 10 coins ASAP. So we're going to try and uh, turbo that. That might have been too early. That was definitely too early. going to restart. I can generally tell when the engine gets to that point at this point. And um, I, if I hear like it rumbling that much, it's like it's basically a failed attempt. There you go. Oh, hell, that was too much, but I failed up. Salvage. Get that. Uh, that's not a good start for me. Yeah, we're gonna have. Uh, hopefully, we don't spend too much time here, but it might be one of the ones we have to come back to, unfortunately. And get that coin. We really needed that coin, but. I don't think there's a way to get 10 coins before they do, unfortunately, but. We got that one. Uh, two seconds behind. Uh, I think it's about average for what we had last time. Ah, we're, it's going to take us more than one lap to get this. Oh, man. I went the grat. Okay, we'll just restart. Damn. Okay. A good boost. I swear, doing that head bopping thing definitely helps out a little bit. I could be completely coping here, but it seems to make the most sense to me. 
Just it have a, like a rhythm to time it to, and it makes it a lot more, more consistent. Versus me trying to time it in my head when I'm not really paying that much attention. Another coin. We're only at four, though, unfortunately. I missed all those coins. This, this is probably a dead run. I'm just going to practice on getting these coins over here, hopefully. Make some progress on it. I think it might be more efficient to take these coins in the outer turn here, but yeah, that gives me nine. Then I can use the mushroom later. But he might have a huge lead by that point, unfortunately. But we're good. We can go inward now. Might be better to use the two mushrooms in the middle and then at the end there, but I think the amount of time you save off the, uh, the ramp at the end is very small and maybe not worth it. Like, I didn't notice a significant improvement when I took it, uh, so. Okay. He's already up there. No, he, wow, he got a, almost a second and a half on me, That just that lap. What is he doing differently than me? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. I think the only thing he's I can really think of is he got 10 coins super fast, and that's got to be it. Like, I really just got a turbo 10 coins. All right. Freaking penguin. Ah. You hate to see it. All right. He doesn't even go for the outer ones. That's the crazy part. He just gets all the coins he needs on this first lap, it seems like. Really, all he's doing is getting better inward drifts here. And getting these coins right here. Okay, we got those coins. That could make a huge difference in our performance here. We're already up to seven now, so... If we go over this path, we should be good for our, the rest of the race. Okay, yeah, then we can just boost here and we got the last one. Or we would if I didn't just completely whiff it, but hey, we got some distance on him. Okay. Hey, get the coin and we're golden. No more coins. Do our inward drift. Move it, penguin. Okay, it goes in the water. That's good. Definitely do the inward drifting here, which is good. I just don't know if I'm getting... He might have a higher top speed vehicle, and that's where I'm really concerned right now. Alright, well... I mean, we... Yeah, it's still pretty... I mean, we kept up with him pretty well this lap, so it's really just about the coins, it looks like. Getting the coins as soon as possible, getting a lead, and holding it. I don't think I can ramp over this ice pool. Like, there's some ramps here, but it's, like, more when it's, like, in the middle, so... I can't get an angle on it before we uh, go across or anything. Yeah, it's, we're done here. I do want to see my time, so I'll finish this one. Because I cut a lot of time off that uh, particular run, so... Just give me an idea where I stand right now with this time trial. What do we got? Yeah, okay, we're about two seconds behind. Not what I expected. Two seconds. I really could... Just gotta get turbo those coins. Problem is if I like go too slow and just like don't take uh, the optimal coin path or whatever, and he's just gonna have such a huge lead on me. But I have to get good at the art of drift coin picking up. So it's hard to do on ice too. That's really a factor here, and I hate it. Ice drifting is not fun as it is. It took me a while just to get the uh, New York Minute drift down, but this one's on a whole different level. So. Maybe I should, I should probably sack that last coin and just go for the first two. Because the other one, you have to drift so outward, and he gets such a huge advantage over me because of it. But hey, we're getting all the coins on lap one if we don't, you know, completely whiff this. Oh, we whiffed it again. Look at that. <laughs> About two seconds. Okay. Yeah, he definitely has to have ten coins by this first lap. There's no way he doesn't. This. I really wish you could boost over that snowman area, but they basically prevent you from doing that, so. Okay, a little more drifting. There we go. 
Could be one of those courses I have to come back to, but... Definitely feels like I'm pretty close, but... Oh, we lost a second on that lap. We're losing a full second there. I mean, maybe he has a better speed than my, my vehicle, which I'm starting to think might be the case, but... I've used that vehicle, and I think it's a drifting type with a very low speed, high handling, if I remember correctly. I have to check the bike or the the cart after this uh, particular run. It'll show me whatever the build is. Eh, hey, looking pretty good, honestly, but wasn't good enough. Oh, we we definitely went up in time. Holy hell! Okay, so no, he's using a Tanuki cart. Isn't that the standard cart? Maybe it's a DLC one. I don't know. Interesting. little bit of a uh, work has to be done here, but uh, we might be able to figure it out. Didn't get that, that's fine. Didn't get any of that. Well, it might be a problem if I didn't get any of those. Yeah, we might we might be in trouble. I don't know, let's just restart. Because I, if I have at bare minimum, I have to get like um, around five coins before that pond. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time catching up. Probably not gonna get it here either. Oh man, we are ahead of Tanuki Mario for the for the a briefest moment. And he's doing some super inward drifts though. I'm surprised how close he's cutting it here. Hey, look at this insanity. I missed missed all those coins. Oh man, what a rough time we have going here. Trying to get uh, prepared for a long haul here. We got that one. I didn't get that one, but that's a little bit better. No, we might get it. It's exactly the same. Maybe we can salvage salvage at the pond here. Maybe. Hopefully. I sure hope so. Love to make any type of progress. Five. Okay, that's something. Oh my. End me. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Ice sucks. This is why people never like ice levels in games. I'm slipping and sliding all over the damn place. I didn't think it'd be that much of a factor, but it is really, really throwing me off here. No, we can't do that. That's too much slippy sliding nonsense. <sighs> hey, try and get the coins here. Nope. And get those coins. What, what was I? What was I thinking? I, for some reason, I zoned out. Was trying to cut as much space as I can, but I really need the coins, and uh, that's a big no-no right now. Okay. I thought I was recognizing the sound. Like usually, if I hear go that much, I either got it perfectly or I failed, and I uh, should have known it was a failure. But uh, hey, I'm trying to be a little optimistic. God, that's too early. That was way too early. I salvaged it somehow. I let go and press it, but sometimes it doesn't work when I try it. Surprised it didn't that time. That was terrible. I lost a lot of distance, but I got the coins. Maybe it'll say. Maybe it'll save me. Uh, we have a lot of distance to make up, but uh, who knows? Maybe we can get a Christmas miracle here. We're not a Merry Mountain yet, but it's a, it's never too early to ask. And getting an optimal coin run is uh, not looking too good for my in my prospects. Take that one slow. Sometimes taking the no drift pass are uh, what, you, what you need to do. Okay, we've, we've gotten around this before. Which, weirdly enough, I think I got better coin pathing when I did. Either coins make a huge difference, or I was doing something before that was putting me at about equal standing with this. Uh, the mistakes I made this race. Oh. Freaking penguin. Always feels annoying to mess up to some like random obstacle like that. They're a little more... Uh, or they're less random than the pinballs were, but... Doesn't make them any more fun to drift around. That was a bad start anyway, so... I was gonna give it a go, but yeah. They said no! <laughs> Got it. Got it! 
Also doesn't help that I see that snow there and it kind of blends into the freaking road. Do not like that at all. God, I'm, get, I'm getting so fussy with my performance here. That's a, that's a really the hard thing about doing the DLC time trials. It's not something like I feel like I can do every single time. Like sometimes like, I, I mean, I had Coconut Mall and, uh, you know, I had to pass that one for a bit. But when I did come back to it, I eventually got first. I got on my first try, so. I'm hoping that there's going to be a similar effect, like if I have to pass it up for today, um, I'll come back to it another day and do really well on it, but this one's a bit brutal for me. Like I've talked about this before, it's usually the levels where you have like, they take specific shortcuts you have to use the mushrooms on, are generally the ones I struggle with. Like provided he's not even taking the, uh, the best shortcut all three laps, so there's some leeway for me to, to choose my own pathing, but... I feel like no matter what I do, I'm still consistently behind Tanuki Mario here, and uh, that's kind of an issue for me. I'm lining up with these coins is a freaking nightmare. Either you drift or you get the coins. You can't. You have to pick one or the other. Because the ice, uh, the ice has a mind of its own, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to pick the coins as the priority here, but okay, we got the coins. Coins no longer matter. Now we just gotta drift to catch up. Our nice little drift boost. There we go. I'd be able to make up some ground this way, but they have such a huge bleed on me already. Oh, please. Nice little drift. Not bad, not bad. God, they have such a huge lead here. Man, I really don't know what the play is here. It's probably got a full two seconds on me again. Maybe three. Oh, okay, it's less time, so we're making some progress, but it doesn't feel like a whole lot, if I'm being completely honest here. Night. Oh my goodness. Ah, it was, it was worth a shot. I was wondering if I could turbo off that uh, ledge and, you know, a super skip, but I guess since Rainbow Road 64, they've been a little more uh, caught, uh, aware of that stuff, and they're not going to let you pull off a super skip like that, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, I had to try. Looks like such an easily turbo, uh, turbo free area, but, um. No, that means we don't really have a lot of good options for. I mean, we have the bridge at the end, and we have the obvious opening, like the Super Nintendo Game Boy Advance levels tend to have. So, uh, yeah, just gotta pick our poison. Hopefully, it's the good, right choice. That's pretty good. Oh, it's looking nice. Get the coins here. Okay. I knew things are going too well. <laughs> the sacrifice had to be made. That said, though, our pathing was amazing because we got pretty far ahead of them there for a second. Oh, wow. I, I completely whiffed the coins, though. I had such a great start and it just fell apart. I hate it. I mean, we're pretty close, huh? I mean, yeah, it's probably the closest we've been. I wonder if I should, like, put the coins as a secondary, because I was prioritizing them, but, you know, it's starting to seem like maybe I should uh, focus more on doing the inward drifts to pass them up early on. Because if I get the coins afterward, I could pro it'd probably help me keep my lead, but I could, you know, have the, the advantage to give away. Well, maybe I'll try that for a bit. Because trying to get the perfect coin padding here is uh, not working out so well, so... Boost. Nice, nice. Freaking road blends in way too well with the snow, and I hate it. I know it's like a snow level, but all the ice here just blends in, so it makes it hard to gauge where to make that first drift. It's also a combination of like the reflective uh, glare on it, so. We got that one. That's good enough. We should be breaking a little more here. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't trick. That would have been. That would have been a massive improvement had I didn't the, done the trick there. That's fine. We'll just restart. Okay. I think I'm starting to see a path here. I think. I think it is definitely possible now. It's taken a bit of adjusting, but it's kind of an unorthodox uh, ghost here. So, taking me a couple of couple of tries to get a feel for it. But going for the coins should not be the primary objective. I mean, it should be a, definitely an objective, but not like the main thing I focus on. 
Because, like, if I get enough here, then I can keep up and even surpass him if I have a decent stockpile before uh, I get to around this area. Got two there. That's that's a huge one. Yeah. Like, look at this. We're pretty neck and neck here. I didn't do a trick, but that's fine. Or, uh, yeah, no, if I'd done a trick, we pro I probably would have been ahead of him. Or her, if it's, uh, their name's actually Maria, so. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think it comes down to how I do that first lap, because after lap two and three, it's basically the same padding, so. If we don't do well in lap one, um, it's, it's really hard to catch up. Damn. It definitely feels doable, but it's probably going to take me a bit of practice to get it down. I don't know if all these mini drift boosts are worth it, but it's worth an experiment, so. Got a pretty decent stockpile of those coins. Pretty good. To... I missed all those. That's unfortunate. I'm they didn't take a purple boost there, but. I mean, about where we were. I actually got the drift boost and all that, but. Didn't seem to make too big of a dent there, unfortunate. But hey, it happens. Yeah, I think I need to aim for at least a minimum of seven coins for the end of lap one. Because if I do that, I can guarantee, my, uh, guarantee myself a set amount of speed, and it should give me some uh, something to work with. There we got our speed boost. Take another mushroom. Man, this is a really hard one. I mean, we got we got a second, or like we were like 1.3 seconds behind, I think, at that part last time. So we're definitely making minor improvements. So little by little, that's how we're gonna have to do this one. Penguins, man. Get a little more inward drift. There we go. We're so close. It's not gonna be enough though, unfortunate. Honestly, having like one dr uh, trick boost would have probably done it. Yeah, a couple of early coins getting the trick boost out on the ramp, and I think I might have it. Cause that's uh, that's about like eight tenths of a second. That's all we missed it by. All right. Well, hopefully we can get it this time. I'm almost afraid to look at the uh, the world record ghost for this uh, level because I think it's going to be just insane, blow my mind entirely. Probably a lot of like needless drift boosting is what I would imagine, but sometimes the pros pull off some uh, crazy stunts to get advantage and uh, can hardly fathom it. It's the coin. It's the coin. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that kind of drifting does not work for me. Like just trying to like zigzag and uh, get to get the drift boost because that's that's what the like the super ghosts seem to do, but. Not like the uh, the Nintendo goes, but like the world records and stuff. Cause I, I played against one on uh, Sherbert Land, and it was it was insane. They had a full twenty seconds on me, and I was just dumbfounded by it. We got a coin. Let's get our eh, three coins. Isn't too terrible. Definitely not the best we could do here, but. <sighs> Freaking penguins! Damn it! Penguins are uh, rough. Cause usually I get there a little later, so I can just kind of drift around them like I did with the pinball. But that particular penguin, like I got there too early, and it just uh, got in my way. Let me see it. I got two. It's pretty good. I'm gonna miss. <laughs> oh God. I don't know why I try and do that zigzag drifting. It's not gonna work for me. I just need to stop drifting and just kinda go back and forth normally. Sometimes it's okay to just drive normally. That's the main takeaway I need to uh, get used to. Oh, whoa, 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 what's with my drifting? Uh, I turned on tilt steering, go figure. I don't know how I keep doing that. I swear I'm not intending to, but I guess I pressed something on my controller wrong and uh, that happens.
Tilt steering is such a weird mechanic for this game. Honestly, I forget that uh, the Switch controller has the gyros in there. But then I remember Breath of the Wild had that nightmare uh, tilt puzzle, which was terrible. I absolutely hated that one. But, um, yeah, Nintendo loves their motion controls. And you're not going to take them away from their cold, dead hands. And go ahead and boost a little bit. You actually got a full 10 coins. This might be a, a good run. I didn't do the boost. Damn. I would have I would have had the advantage on him for the first time if I did that. I kind of want to restart, but you know, I have I ha I have a pretty good um well, I'm set up for a decent run if I complete it, so. I can manage to hold the advantage there though. Like, I run the first lap pretty well now, but the laps 2 and 3 seem to be where I fall apart. And I'm trying to uh, figure out why that is. Cuz I have 10 coins now, so I don't have to worry about coins anymore. Already a huge advantage. But he has a slight amount of uh, advantage on me distance-wise. It might be hard to make up the difference, unfortunately. I mean, it's a very small difference now, but trying to get an advantage is going to be all up on the drifting areas and getting drift boosts. Might, we might have this if I pull it off, but... Okay, I edged that one enough to get some advantage. It's good. Penguin move! Oh, we might have this. I just can't do any super huge drifts. Please, please, please. Oh, wow. I was actually going to sack this run, but it seems like we actually had it here. All right, well, it just goes to show you shouldn't give up too early. <laughs> I could definitely do better on that one. Maybe I'll work on that later, because I think eventually I'm going to revisit all my... Wow, I actually had, almost had a full second on him, too. This goes to show how uh, important the uh, N-word drifts are. Not bad. Yeah, we'll upload that one. All right, that's uh, how many? How many have you done? Three? Uh, only three? That's kind of a. Uh, I mean, provided the courses I've done so far have been a little harder than normal, but. Unless I'm forgetting, of course. No, that's only three. Oh god, I I dread this one. Mushroom Gorge. Any of you who that have watched my online streams know that I hate this track with a passion. And now it's time to uh, conquer the beast. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get this done in today, but um, we're gonna have to start somewhere. So. Ooh, this truck is rough. Or this track is rough. I don't know why I said truck, but it's uh, not an easy one. Um, the mushroom section in particular is very hard if you're trying to boost there. It's it's basically it does something, so. I'm just going to follow Toadette because I need I need some advice on this one. It's not too bad of a coin area. You need to go a little bit more inward. Oh, wait, they go around this? Is that the key to this? Just never take the mushrooms? <laughs> I mean, there are, there are a lot of coins here, so... The coins shouldn't be an issue, I don't think, but... Yeah, that's an easy set of coins. Oh, they actually take the uh, paraglider path. Interesting. I missed it completely. And this is why this course is so amazing. I don't know how to do that jump. Supposedly, there's a way you can uh, turbo over that gap and, uh, you know, land safely, but I have yet to find it. All right, well, I guess I've been playing Mushroom Gorge wrong because they ignore it entirely, which maybe I'll start doing because the mushrooms in this part suck. Like, they're easily the worst part of the level, which is kind of sad considering the level's named after the mushrooms. So I expect them to be a little bit better, but not every mechanic's a winner, and this is a very good example of that. Okay, we made it that time. I almost have 10 coins in the first lap. Yeah, they just do that. Okay. Not what I expected, because if you boost anywhere else, you're just going to die. I guess you could boost. Yep. Okay. There's that one, too. I really don't ever do this one, though, because that one's a little more dangerous to take, but look at there. Oh, they go. Okay, they go the normal way for this lap. I guess they take that path for coins only. I haven't gotten the last coin, even though I've missed, like, several patches of coins already. Oh god. I hate this. I hate this area so much. So lap two, they just avoid the glider and they go straight for the uh, the left side. Oh boy, I think this one might be uh, the one that stops me today. I mean, I'd love it if I can get to the point where I'm 
like I turn around the level completely. Like there were a couple levels I absolutely hated until I did time trials, and once I learned it, it was a lot easier. But I'm gonna have. I'll be real. This, this one's my, probably not gonna. That's probably not gonna happen here because this one is a real pain in the ass. Just because of the bouncing mushrooms throws so much RNG into the uh, what you need to do here, and it really just messes with me. I, I like consistency, um, even if it's like mild RNG, like the the pinballs. Like at least those were consistent, but. The, the mushrooms will like bounce you wherever the hell they want to, and that's what really gets me about them. At least you can cut this turn a little easy. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good, pretty good use. It's honestly a really good boost pad, given everything. There we go. I'd probably just take the blue mushroom for the. Uh, Coins, but I think I try and do a more inward drift here to uh, have some time. There's really got to be better places to boost, though, right? I would think so. Wow, that is such a precarious shortcut, too. And we're still kind of tailing, but the problem is like the RNG of the mushrooms. It doesn't really ensure that's gonna this is going to be a good run because one fall and the run's done. Oh god. I don't know why I got a purple mushroom before the death valley, but maybe I just like to live dangerously. <laughs> oh, man. I hate it. You know, I think this is going to have to be one of those that's going to be... It's going to have to be the start of a stream or something. Because this level is has so much going for it, and I do not think I'm equipped to handle it right now. Oh boy, maybe maybe I'll stream this game again. Uh, maybe Thursday, I don't know. And uh, try and tackle this one then. I don't know if I'll be much better on Thursday, because I'm usually less rested on Thursdays, but... I don't know. Definitely, this level I need to practice, because it shows up so often on online that it's becoming a problem how often it shows up. God, this level really punishes you for boosting, though. They do tricks throughout the entire thing, too, which is the craziest part to me about the how the AI has been playing. Because, like, you, you'd re never want to boost on the mushrooms. Like, using a star or mushroom on this level is a death sentence, straight up. That shortcut sucks, too. I, I hate this level so much. Oh, man. I have to conquer this one, though, so... I got a good boost. Why could they have brought back Toad's Factory instead? I would have been so happy never playing this level again. I saw all the coins. Love to see it. I don't think this ghost is very realistic. I expect them to fall over at least five times. <laughs> That's my usual uh, Mushroom Gorge experience. Honestly, the best part about the uh, blue mushroom is that you don't have to worry about falling over again. Because the, the glider saves you. I know the glider's traditionally slower, but on this level, it might be the exception to where you don't have to deal with the uh, stupid, stupid RNG of the mushrooms, so. I feel like we've always been, like, barely tailing behind the ghost, but it's that bad bounce, and it's done. Oh boy. No, no, no. Oh my god, this is so scary. No! Honestly, we just need to get a finish in. I might just take the glider pass so I don't have to keep bailing on these bounces. Oh lordy, this is rough. Look at Mushroom Gorge. Like the other levels I felt like I could do, and I eventually did, but this one I could be another Waluigi Stadium, unfortunately. Which I'm not looking forward to going back to that level either, but... Oh, man. I'd hate to be walled off from this completion by two courses, but... I'm really gonna have to break this one down and figure out what I can do here. Taking the blue path is literally the safest route, and uh, I can't think of a better alternative. We do have 10 coins now, so that's a good start. That said, uh... Don't know what I'm doing about the rest of this level.
I hate it. And the problem is, like, I can't really... Okay, so let's say we don't take that path. We're gonna lose so much advantage by going around. Maybe we can gain it back by boosting around the corner, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yeah, the bouncing is just such an annoying mechanic to have to nail down. It's pretty much only on this level and maybe one other level. I know it's on 3DS Rainbow Road, but it's only like one little one little part of the on the first uh, part of it, so. But this level, it's a consistent mechanic you have to do, and uh, it's a real issue. You're on the whims of the mushrooms and how they bounce you, so. Now I got one from that? Really? I thought I got two, but whatever, at 10 now. It's barely behind. A second that time. Barely made it. Hey. Got a boost there. Now we're just gonna take the paraglider path because I do not have the patience to keep trying to bounce and uh, hope for the best. Apparently the game doesn't have the patience for me to try. Okay. Uh, oh God. Yeah, this, I mean, I honestly didn't know this one was up, up next to bat, and, uh, and this might be, this might be one of the last ones I get done in this game, I'll be real. While Luigi Stadium's up there, this might be number two, so. The annoying part is, I keep it with Toadette pretty well here, but by the time I get to the lap two, it just falls apart. I can't even get to lap three, and that's the most frustrating part about this. Holy hell. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty rough. I might have to go play another level so I can get at least one more W before the end of the stream. I want to complete this cup today, but it's not looking too good. Oh, wait, there's another level in this. Oh, it's the uh, the Sunday level, isn't it? Okay, that, that's probably an easy one to do. Okay. Red 8, not bad. What the? Are you just supposed to not trick? Is that is that the key? Just don't ever trick? That seems very anti-Mario Kart. Like, they teach you to jump off, or trick off at every jump. But as I've done these time trials, i found there are a lot of places where you're just not supposed to trick, or else you just get flung off to Narnia. Like, you have to consider what the end result of that trick is going to be, and prepare accordingly. So annoying. So annoying, so frustrating. A lot to consider when you have every move, every action. You better make sure it's damn worth the, the risk. Well, at least we got that done. Let's try not tricking one before. Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. God, they may really make this into a freaking chore. I bounced too much on that. That lost me too much time. Still a second behind. I just don't have a trick there. The thing is, I see the AI doing it, I'm like, I should be able to do it too, right? But clearly that's a trap. Just like Hokanam all had a lot of its traps. Holy moly. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one. I stop tricking, just take the glider. It might be the key. Let's just ignore the mushrooms as much as you can and hope for the best. Are they going to take that path again? That's what I'm really wondering. Oh, they are. So they take that path two, two laps in a row. They just take the... Um, actually, where did they use it the first time? I actually don't... Oh, wait, they use it the, the cut at the end. That's right. So they hit the cut, and then they use the uh, the mushroom bounce, the last two. So I probably have to take the mushroom bounce, even if I don't trick, so I can keep up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm falling apart. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know if I have this in me today. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, this is a, definitely a level I'm gonna have to go, go at from the start of the stream, or else I'm gonna go insane. It didn't really make that big of a difference, honestly. 
But I think they were also a little bit ahead of me, so it's hard to hard to say. And now they're gonna have an an extra mushroom on me because of that turn at the end, but. Yep. <laughs> I hate it. All right, got that timing. I'd rather have Toad Factory back than this level. My goodness. I think Toad Factory is the only other level I remember from Mario Kart Wii. We still haven't gotten DK Mountain, but that's supposed to be in uh, Wave 8 as well. So, looking forward to that at least. I got one from that, really? All right. I have an advantage on Toadette, so that's a good start. Oh, that is so close. Oh my god, I hate the bouncing. It is so scary to have your run potentially ruined by one bad bounce. I also lost distance on that because I didn't trick off any of those mushrooms, but if I did, I probably would be dead. Oh, yeah, jet ahead of him. That's good. Okay, jump. Stay away from that stuff. Oh boy. I think we're actually ahead now, though. Oh yeah, we actually got a huge lead. Maybe taking the paraglider there isn't such a bad idea. Oh, Ooh, okay, I thought I was going off. Ooh, saved it. Oh man, we barely got a lead on him. We gotta pull off everything perfectly. Just please don't, don't screw me, game. I'm gonna be done with Mushroom Gorge forever. I can't bounce. I don't have the leeway to bounce anymore. And just go down. I don't know where Toadette is. Anytime I see like the lights from the cave, I get scared and think that's Toadette's ghost zipping past me. Oh, we barely beat it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe the trick here is just don't do don't trick bounce. That's what it comes down to. Don't trick bounce. Don't boost. I mean, you can do a couple, but like if you have to land on something in particular, you you absolutely have to stop. Ah oh, man, I feel such a sense of relief. I was I was honestly gonna give up on that one, but. Hey, we, we kept on it for a little bit longer and got it. All right, let's, let's try and do uh, Sky High Sunday because I don't see that one taking too much time. So hopefully we can get it done. But that'll be five courses and one full cup done. So we'll have uh, another six more for later. Plus two that haven't been released, but all in all, pretty successful. Didn't really spend too much time on any one level. But Rosalie on this level? This doesn't really seem like a Rosalina vibe, but okay. Guess they don't want to put Rosalina on every Rainbow Road or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, gotta get the timing down again. Love to see it. It's weird because I was trying to like close my eyes and do that, but it's not like there's some other sound effect like kicking in there. It was really throwing me off. Okay, we'll go ahead and drift up this little area. Got some of them. Okay. They go the other way. It's a little interesting. I don't think this level should be that difficult, but I could also be grossly underestimating this level. So. It seems like a very simple ex excite bike type level, which I did do excite bike in one try too. But usually, like the baby park, like so, uh, or if you're, if you're really a fan of like NASCAR, like those types of levels aren't that difficult. And this kind of has that vibe to it. Why are they going straight down this way? Interesting. Maybe it cuts. Oh, it cuts off the glider time. Maybe that's why. Honestly, though, getting the full ten here is going to be kind of difficult. Okay. Oh, well, that's a great start. We'll have to see it. Oh, man. Is that the sound of the door opening? What is that? It does sound like it's make my bike's making a different noise here. It's kind of odd. Throw me off. 
Honestly, I have no idea where to boost here either, because it's one of those simple excite bike type levels. And uh, yeah, this it's pretty straightforward. Let's boost here. Oh, they go that way. Interesting. Oh. I've never really been to this uh, left side, so. A lot of coin opportunities that I'm missing all of. Love to see that. I mean, this might take 15, 20 minutes if we're lucky. It'd be worse, but... I don't know why my bike's making such a weird sound up here, but... Looks like it's just this level, too. Maybe the altitude? Seems like we're, like, in some, like, giant freezer or something. You see, like, the AC vents coming down. Oh, yeah, it's literally just cold up there. I guess we're literally on top of giant ice cream, but... Okay, we got a nice little boost. No coins. Love to see it. Ah, oh, man. I really don't know this path as well, so I'm a little struggling with it a little bit. Am I supposed to go that way? There's a lot of winding paths on this side. The other side's a lot more straightforward. Um, well, I can do this at least. If this level has ice phase, it kind of feels like it in some places. Not to mention it feels like some areas kind of feel pretty zero gravity. We lost a lot of time here. Hmm. Huh. It's gonna be super easy or super hard. Like I said it was gonna be easy because it's like a sight bike and it's pretty straightforward, but at the same time, it definitely has like this whole area right here is a little more uh a little more complicated. I think this path is definitely better than the other side. I'll probably stick to this side. That's the side I know when I race this course online. I need to get up to 10 coins sooner. Oh, right in the edge there. Oh my god. How are they beating me so thoroughly here? Is what I want to know. Oh my god. Rosalina. A freaking massacre. I don't, there's no way that left path is faster, right? They, she took the left side, and then she went over to here. Hmm. I mean, they seem pretty equidistant, so it shouldn't be uh, one path shorter than the other type of thing. As far as I can tell, but maybe I'm missing something. There we go. You're going to have like a full like 9 or 10 seconds on us. Not really where we need to be. I got a completion, so that's a good start. Oh, actually, it's only six seconds. Maybe the left side is faster, because I took the right side two laps, and then I took the left side the last lap, and it was somehow quicker. All right, well, I'll try left side again. Not going to worry too much about the coins, just try and optimize my, my pathing, so... All right. Didn't get a trick off, not what I want to see here, but... Ah, the coins are really in an inconvenient areas to grab. Oh god. This is, it seems like it's more suited for a cart instead of a bike, or even a four-wheeler, but a bike definitely seems like it's not made for the uh, drifting area that they have set up for me here. Okay. Another run. I'm so afraid I'm gonna fall off here. I'm trying my best not to, but I'm at three. I think it's better to let her go off on that side, and I just stay just stay more inward and don't try and like go off to the other path for a couple extra coins. I missed all those coins. Love to see it. Get any of those? That's not good. 
In about three seconds, that time, two and a half, if you want to be more technical, but either way, it's not a good amount to uh, be down by. Is this going to be the uh, hidden heart, uh, final boss of the game? Because this honestly seems a lot more difficult than I gave it credit for. You know, she's still have pretty far ahead of me here. Hit that one. Okay, we're at 10, so that's a good start. Oh, wait, that's the other thing she did. She doesn't go in the ice cream. Because I guess it's a straight shot if I go... Yeah, I'm gonna, I, need to, I need to skip that path. Because you have to fly upward, then you, you get a trick chance, but it's probably more... Um, it's more efficient if you just go left, it seems like. I'll just do that now. I didn't get the trick. It's fine. Okay, we land about the same distance that time, but... Damn, that drift sucks. Trying to get the timing down before the race even starts. I wish I mushroom here. I feel like mushrooming too early is not a good idea, but there's really not a whole lot of better opportunities. Hey, okay, well. Four coins, not uh, the best start, clearly. All right, well we got we made it up a little bit, so I almost had a purple, but I messed it up. Oh, I missed. Damn, this one sucks. I mean, I said the same thing about Mushroom Gorge and eventually got it, but it, it probably means that I have some kind of pre uh, misconception about this level, and I need to clear that before I can uh, make progress. If I don't do that for one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have quit after Mushroom Gorge. Would have had four, would have been good, but me and my grand ideas. This definitely feels like a pretty good level to start a stream on, so I might give it a couple more attempts and uh, call it there. Because I would like to um, stream another game tonight, so I don't want to start too late on the next game. So I happen to have a surplus of time today, so. It might be a good idea to stream something else. Um, maybe Armor Core. Uh, I've been thinking about going back to like Legends Arceus or something, but I have a couple of like, game ideas and uh, it'll be fun to play them. No, no, nothing says I can only stream one game a night, right? <laughs> the only limiting factor is time. Time and energy. But those are no problem, did it? What if thought occurs. What if I save my mushrooms until the last lap? Because if I do a sprint there at the end when I have 10 coins, it might be more efficient. Assuming I can even get to 10 coins, because it's looking like it's going to be a very close... Uh... Oh, she goes that way on this lap. Interesting. I get that one. It's fine. Alright, we got eight coins. That's pretty good. It catch me up with her a little bit, but not by much. Uh, drifting up the stairs is like the most awkward thing to do in this game. Never really was an issue until we got to uh, this level. Because no other level has a mechanic where you have to drift up the stairs to progress. Hell, this is not a good place to be. How much did I lose by that time? And of course it was an improvement, but... Uh, about yeah, two, two and some change. Eh. 
I'll give it one more shot, and I think I'll call it there. I'm gonna I'm gonna stream another game after this, so. and in the meantime, while I'm uh, between streams, I can uh, take care of some stuff, and I'll start the upload for this one. So, we're gonna save our or save our mushrooms till the end. I wonder if it is better to go up that path there, but. So Rosalina takes both paths then, so it might be might be a good idea to swing for the uh, other side. Oh, I didn't do my trick there, unfortunately. Hate to see it. Oh, psh. I was trying to get the coins, but I really should just optimize it and not worry too much about the coins. She takes it this path, but every other path she doesn't take it. Okay, maybe the turbo boost is worth it. Eh. Damn. Usually I have no issue riding the inside like that, but this level is so hard because of the elevation differences. Like one bad drift and you're gonna like go flying off. At least I haven't had too many issues with the uh, drift boost or tricks just yet. Not to mention the surface area, this feels kind of like ice and it's awkward to uh, to drive on sometimes. That whole like ending segment's like floaty as hell. Like there's some kind of anti-gravity mechanics at play. I don't know what it is about it, but... Ouch. Actually, no, we're still, we're still in it. Might not the best path to take, but it's, a, it's certainly a path of all time. Hey, yeah, we got a decent stockpile of coins. We might be able to clean up here. Just open, right? You're at nine. That's pretty good. Nine's pretty good. Honestly, it's better than most of our first lap attempts. And we happen to stumble on that bottom path there, which may or may not be the optimal path we need to take here. We don't need to worry about coins for too much longer. Yep, we got ten. Okay. Now we can just focus on the pathing, which is what we need to do. Go and do that to catch up a little bit. That's may or not. That's probably not good. Alrighty. Get the purple boost. Okay. It's honestly pretty hard to get the purple on that uh, particular turn, which I thought it'd be pretty easy, but guess not. Mm, I think I might need to boost before that point. He's right there, but. I wonder if she's bumping the rails. I didn't even think about that. Like, if she's bumping the rails throughout that entire drift, because I usually don't try and bump into them, but that honestly seems like it'd be pretty hard to pull off. That might be what I'm getting the wrong idea about. I'm getting pretty close to her, but... We're drifting, we're drift. I was super inward. I was almost falling off inward. Ah, hell. We barely improved our time there. New record, but it's not quite where we want to be yet. Yeah, about two seconds left to cut off. I mean, fine, we'll upload it for now. We still need to beat the ghost, though. Uh, I, part of me wants to give up now, but all right, we'll keep going. <laughs> Can't say no to you. That wasn't a very good boost. It's just like, I don't really have a good grasp on what I'm doing wrong. Because it's, it's probably in that um, split the branch pass section that I'm losing all my... Losing the advantage a lot. That and the part where, like, um, I guess she's bumping into the um, the railing to where she gets a couple of speed boosts there. So if I try and drift while hitting those rails, maybe it'll work. It goes against every bit of my logical brain here to... Um, Try and intentionally crash in the rails, but that's how Mario Kart works in the anti-grass section, so. Alright, we got him. Didn't trick there. I mean, we're fine for now, but. I would have liked to have the trick. Oh, that's, that is what she's doing. That is a huge speed boost, so I can pull that off every single time consistently, but. 
Okay, well, we found a pretty good strat here. We just gotta execute it now. Okay. Yeah, we're actually way more caught up to her. Had we gotten the trick boost in the beginning, I think we'd probably be pretty on par with her. Okay. This is the strat. I knew I was overlooking something. I never really considered that um, railing to be an essential part of this track, but... Yeah, we definitely gained a, like at least half a second on her there. Yeah, that is a huge speed boost. I gotta remember that from now on. Just hit that while I'm drifting. It gives me quite a bit to work with. Get the coins. I didn't get the coins. Let's see it. Here we got some. We still have three mushrooms, mind you, so this might be might be just what we need. Ah, I, was, I got greedy. I got so greedy with the purple. Because usually I can pull it off the purple drift, but it takes so much extra time to do. I mean, I could start my drift earlier, maybe, but... Damn. Okay. Got it. Got the trick boost. Got that. Honestly, if you can drive straight into the rails like that, it's such like a turbo pad. Yeah, no, that's that's a huge advantage. I don't know why I wasn't doing that before. Probably because I forgot about it being a mechanic, but. Didn't get really any coins though, unfortunately, but we're pretty on par with Rosalina right now, so. Get it. There we go. And it's really cutting it close to the. Ah, damn. Gotta really. Okay, I got the I got the catch up uh, system down, but I really got to work on my finer points toward the end there. Honestly, just closing my eyes and. Uh, Doing the head nod seems to be working pretty well for my timing. That's that's definitely the strap. If, if I ever play this level online, which I probably will eventually, but I gotta remember that. I was always wondering why I did so bad on this level, and that's probably why. Okay, we got a decent amount of coins. Not a bad start. Do a trick there. Out of probably a second and a half behind. Okay, we're making progress. That's good. I really should have done a trick there, but you know. Taking a casual pace is good too, game. Didn't hit any of the railing. There we go. Kind of slingshot ourselves up a little bit. I mean, this will probably get us maybe a second on the distance here, but. Honestly, I don't know if it's going to be enough to get us caught up completely. Really playing like a dangerous game with that drift boost, though. Like, I'm really risking a lot to get it pulled off. Yeah, she got a huge advantage on me again. And... God, look at the amount of boost you get just going through that. Look at this. If I could stay in the railing longer, I could probably get a lot more advantage if I can somehow manage it, but... Yeah, Rosalina's still miles ahead of me, unfortunately, though. That, one of those runs, I was pretty close to Rosalina throughout the entire thing. Maybe because I'm not getting enough coins. I, I mean, that's my best guess on it, but... Also kind of missing the trick boost on very key areas, which is not good. Yeah, I definitely did worse that attempt. No, not ideal. I'm gonna give it a, mo a couple more goes, but even if we don't do it today, um, I have a pretty good idea of where we, where we're at, and what we can accomplish next time. So. Good start. Hit that. That is literally just a boost pad. 
Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Yeah, I need to just stick to the railing. Unfortunately, there's no railing on this side, but make it too easy, I guess. Uh, trying to do the world records here is going to be uh, quite the nightmare. Yep. Honestly, pretty good. That's only a little bit over a second, so not too shabby. We should be able to make up some distance here by slingshotting ourselves with the railing. I didn't hit any of that railing, which is not good. I mean, they're barely ahead of us, but... Oh, man. Not looking hot. Yeah, that purple boost is such a risk, but if I can get it, it's definitely going to make some ground up here. Oh, uh, yeah, we still lose time on lap two. I don't know what it is about lap two in particular that cost us so much time. I can do if, if I if I can get four hits on that. Oh god! Well, we fumbled it. Okay, we'll try one more one more earnest attempt, and that'll be where I call it. Call it for this game. Um, I'm gonna take a short break and then jump into another game. So I don't know what I'm gonna play yet. Um, I have some Switch games I kind of want to jump back into. Um, I might jump into Armored Core because that's uh, Armored Core Six is coming out pretty soon. So I definitely want to wrap that up um, as soon as I can. But I'm not very far in the story, so I probably need to spend at least two days this week to get it done for Armor Court 6. Um, don't even know if I'm going to play that, but I'd like to have it done. Because at that point, I think everyone's going to be done wanting to watch uh, older Armor Core gameplay. So. That said, though, I'm still having a fun time with it, and I don't mind playing it after you know, Armor Core 6 comes out. So Seems to be one of the less popular games on my channel right now, though. But I enjoy playing it, so I'll keep playing it. At least once a week. Maybe, maybe more if, you know... If I'm feeling it. Oh my goodness. But right now I have a little bit more free time on my schedule now that I am. Uh, I'm taking a short break from Tears of the Kingdom so I can give some other uh, games a chance to shine. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try and use that time to play some newer games. Uh, like I started the Zelda Randomizer recently. And uh, I have a couple more other games I want to start, but... I wonder if it's... Hold on. Is it faster to just, like, hit the railing and not... Do a drip boost, but and keep up up until this point. But oh man, I wonder if I can. Let's hold the mushrooms for a minute. Okay, just kidding. I was gonna try and get the coins there, but didn't think it was gonna be that much of a bust. Didn't hit any of those. About to see it. That was not ideal. The mushroom, I guess, kept us in the game last time. I think tricking there is probably a good thing, because if you combo the trick bonus plus the uh, spending bonus, I think it's where you get all the big uh, boosts in. I still have three mushrooms, though, so I can turbo them whenever I need to. Probably going to use them on the uh, curve over here to... Um, Gain some lost ground. Wait till I'm done with all my trick jumps and go. That's a 10. Realistically, we should have been at 10 a while ago, but. And we're kind of catching up. Just kidding. More distance than last time. <laughs> I mean, we, we started with more distance at the beginning of uh, lap one, so hard to make up those kind of losses at this point in the game. There we go, rocket ourselves out of there. If there's like a de facto fastest path here, because it really doesn't feel like it. Because the AI takes both paths uh, both times, so. Hard to optimize this part in particular because of it. Eh. Yeah, a bit slower than last time. Alright, well this is going to have to be a... Uh, 
This is going to be where we pick up the next time we uh, do another time trial stream. Um, made, a, made a little bit of progress, found some information, but ultimately I don't want to spend too much time here today. Well, we got four courses done, and that was my bare minimum to get it done. Um, wanted to get five, but I guess it wasn't in the cars today. Oh well, we'll get them next time. Anyway, uh, this will all be ending my Mario Kart stream. Uh, I'll start up another stream uh, here pretty soon, probably in the next hour or so. But um, yeah, thanks again for watching, and uh, uh, now the vlogging. Uh, yeah, if you like what you saw and you're not already following me on Twitch, feel free to leave a follow or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload all the stream archives as soon as the stream is done. This one will be going live soon. Thanks again, until next time.